Welcome back everyone, this is Kimchika and we are here playing Message Quest. We ended last time with uh, Fest and Mother Lee, I think, oh I forget what her name is, but anyways, they are now, um, they're now going to try and save the refugees from the world of Amaranth. I'm forgetting the names of everything. We're trying to save the refugees. And so now our rift is opened, it is snowy, and there are baby fairies that need to be saved. So, or elves. We haven't just, they don't have wings. They're elves. So. Rista Lintanome. Quick, save the survivors before it's too late. But how? I can't bring the roads together. There are no roads to merge. Good idea. Time to read the. That was, that was my idea, yeah. What? I don't get it. What does she want me to do with it? Rista, Inquista, Elmi, Sar, Gromorga! <laughs> this scroll is the road. Use it. Drag you drag. Linta, Kinami, Alta! Help the children cross the scroll. Drag any drag. Oh. Ah! Ah! Don't sneeze. Eh. Cute. Alright, guys, this is gonna take a while. Oh, you're taking forever! Why are you walking so slow? Ah, ah, hold on. Pull the girl out of the rift. Yoink! Get out of here! Where shall I go? Oh, I just needed to uncover <laughs> the snow, snow clumps. Ooh, beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Say I say hornost. Babies are coming. Whoa. Mad Madeline. There we go. Madeline's in labor. Uh, are you sure? Say I say orme tai alasaila. That's a yes. No, I don't chicken out. I've just never seen someone give birth. I totally forgot it even happens. Fest. Alright. Yeah, you gotta do it, Fest. Come on. What? No way. I won't. I can't. As if you had a choice. Good heavens. Yeah, it better be you. <laughs> oh. Miracle of life, guys. Never know you'd see it on this channel, but here you are. Uh, seriously, playing dead is really useful right now. Get up. Ah, you got a new brother? Sister? Nope. Kid's getting kicked out. The children would be better outside now. Yeah. How many are there? They'll be getting in the way. Where can we take them? I don't know. Let's... Can we drag them anywhere? No. Uh. Oh. Uh. Take him to the roof. It just might work. Let's give it a try. Ah, oh, Tetris time. Go. Yeah. Hope the roof can handle all that weight. Children are light. They're fine. No. <laughs> Oh no. More Tetris. Vita now Alim. What? I don't know what she wants. She wants us to be the best packer in the world here. Uh, what could they possibly need? Here's some food. Wait a minute. More Tetris. Shake that booty. Uh, there must be something useful inside, but how can you open it? <gasps> Puzzle time. Hmm. Woo! That was a tough one. Just matching the pictures. Petaska <laughs> bapap. Goal. No comments. <laughs> Do we get this? Iwakoma <laughs> bapap. Uh, guess they need water. Well, will we find some? What we put in? Here's a bucket. There's some liquid. It could be water, but it also could be Madeline's venom. <laughs> Thinking it's. Dude, it's probably water. 
Scissors, tissues, a book on breathing exercises. Who could possibly need all this stuff? Pregnant lady fest. Pregnant lady. Cool. Don't even think. Oh. Well, where can I? Here, can we? Baby. Avant when then delay. It's a miracle. You have a baby. What's her name? Her name is T. But how do you know? I mean, you can't talk fast. We already discussed this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. She completes the musical scale. T is the last note. Since dad is gone. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Miss Lynn Ryan. Today, life triumphs over death thanks to you. She lost her voice. She sacrificed it for those people. She became a hero, but now she will never be the prima donna of your troop. Lin Ryan, how could you? It's time to have a serious conversation with the King of Bards. <gasps> I'm here to answer all your questions. Hmm. Why did you abandon Madeline and the troop? I asked her to come with me to a source, but she refused. She left me. Oh. I asked her to come with me to the source, but she refused. Why didn't you save her? But I did. I sent you there. Why didn't you tell me that you're the king of bards? Well, you figured it out on your own, didn't you? But why? So that you and Madeline could meet each other. She was the she was the addressee. Why did you let me follow a false trail? Was it really false? You did everything right. <gasps> Does this mean that I completed my quest? Ah, uh, Well done, Fest, you're a true herald! You brought us together on purpose to save Avarange. Everything in the universe is intertwined, more than you can imagine. <sighs> well then, now that all the questions are answered, it is time to say goodbye so that everyone can continue their journey. Oh, goodbye, Madeline. We'll see each other again, won't we? Oh, goodbye, Lynn Ryan. Goodbye, everybody. Oh. So, the boy has finally grown up. Oh, my gosh. Home, sweet home. La, la, la. What happened here? I know what's going on. Noah, what's wrong? It's over, Fest. We've been defeated. Who did this? Our sworn enemies, the border guards. Again? But what about the peace treaty? We knew they would break the peace treaty. It was only a matter of time. Why do the guards hate the Herald so much? We build connections between the worlds. They build walls. And they waited until you were alone and attacked? What cowards? No, I haven't done all of this for nothing. I've traveled far. Merge roads, fought innkeepers, solved talking door riddles, conquered my own laziness, and saved children from a dying world. Delivered a baby. Well, you didn't take. But okay, you helped deliver a baby. Well, there we go. Good fest. At least I helped. That's not the point. You're right. All of this that a bunch of villains ruins my home while I'm away. Go find the Herald's banner. Pew, pew, pew. Let's clean this guy off. And put the banner on the pole. Noah, look! See the banner? Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these heralds from the swift completion of their appointed quests. The order stands. Come on, Noah, we've got work to do. Fest, you're talking like a true herald. Oh my gosh. Look, he's so cute. He's not the lazy Fest that we once knew. <gasps> Thus the ends the story of Fest the Loafer, and a whole new story begins. The end. <sighs> well, almost. I want to show you just one more thing. Prologue. <gasps> a day before Fest's adventures begin, two people meet at dusk. How are you, Torn? Water. Water. Where's water? Is this? No. That's a glowing bottle. I won't drink anything from that. Um, uh, water. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. 
What happened? Are things going that bad? Thanks for coming, Linrein. How much time do you have? That's why I called for you. Time is running out. I can't believe you kept them away by yourself and wounded. Avrange must be destroyed. Oh. What about its people? My apprentice awaits the signal to start the evacuation. We must send a herald to deliver our message. I'm afraid the herald's order is seeing its final days. What do we do now? She won't save the people. She'll get lost. Don't worry. I have a plan. Heavens, don't forget that this hasn't happened yet. Trust me, I've got this. You may remember how I solved the problem. I sent Fest to save Madeline and both of them to save the Avarangian refugees. I think it was a great idea. What could have possibly gone wrong? Wait, they will need a road. How do you build a road, Torn? Torn? <sighs> build a road. With something. Somehow. Hm. Is he kidding me? Oh, man. What are these, Torn? Parchments. That'll do. Let's put them on the table. Oh, is this how the scroll was built? Now for time for some magic. Could you bring me a candle, please? Hmm, what a surprise. He wants a candle. Okay, candle, candle, candle. Oh. Now, a tree, please. Tree, shree. Ah, ah, ah. Next, some snow. You know nothing about snow, Lin Ryan. Is this not snow? Oh, well, alone. Well, I thought. Don't touch my snowball. Get some from the yard. Wasn't he asleep? Okay, well, I find some remnants. Oh, wait, I clicked too fast. Remnants from any world? There's tons of jars in here. Hmm. Wrong jar. Oh. This should do. Okay. Wow, making a road is serious business. Splendid, and now for the finishing touch. For that I'll need some ink. The ink is just right under his nose, but he just has to keep giving orders. I know. Done. I hope they figure it out. I think it's obvious that the scroll is a road, right? Hurry, Lin Ryan. I don't think I can take this much longer. Thank you for your help, dear player. We played this game for you. It was a huge, a great honor and a huge pleasure. Oh. But now I must return to the beginning of the story to make it happen. And now for real. The end. Oh my gosh. Matt's message quest. Oh, the song. Oh, oh, there's best. Oh. Wow, so another great game. Oh my gosh. Uh, another let, uh, not let's play. What am I trying to say? What is it? Point and click. Um, I have to say, before I had started doing Let's Plays, I actually had never really played point-and-click games. I usually played just RPGs or sometimes platformers, sometimes first-person games, but mostly RPGs. And I really am enjoying these point-and-click adventures that I've been experiencing since playing. Uh, the art, at least on the ones that I've been doing so far, like, what is it, Franbo, Message Quest, the art is so well done, and the story is just... It's cute, and it's just heartwarming, and it makes me happy to play, and that's kind of, you know, why play a game unless it makes you enjoy it in some way. I mean, there's horror games, but that's that's a whole other podcast, I think, or, or episode. Love the game. Can't wait to see what else the developers come up with and the creative team behind it comes up with. And yeah, I just, I love Fest. He's so cute. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. I hope you guys are having some nice sort of sunny summery weather right here in uh, Oregon. It's starting to feel like spring and summer, which is really nice. I got to go to the beach. So mm, it's really good stuff. So hopefully you get out, enjoy the outside world and not always just stay inside watching my YouTube channel because I know that's what you guys do, right? It's just watch my channel all day long. 
Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye!